talk about the spring game, but but our plan is, yeah, we probably will at least get. I want to get them all some reps. We won't make every rep live, but uh, uh, we'll make sure they all get kicked. But we will work on the returning coverage aspects. After watching that last scrimmage on tape, what did you see out of the out of the quarterbacks? Uh, production. Uh, a lot of really good plays, and all of them had some plays they wish they'd have back. I mean, it was, you know, uh, I hated that Hunter wasn't able to finish. He, he had a good, a good uh, couple series there, and then uh, just tweaked his ham. Uh, and he was, he, he didn't even get to full practice today because we had a, a common exam at that five. They had to leave by five today. But who, who schedules a test on a Monday after <laughs> spring break? What the heck? Uh, but anyway. Man, uh, so they, they had Hunter went there out there. He just got a little bit of pre practice and then he was gone. So, um, but uh, uh, all of them made some very good plays, some nice throws. I mean, it's, it's, it's fun to watch. You know, we're competing every day, evaluating everything. And, you know, we'll sit down uh, once we get it. We got a lot coming. I mean, you, like I said, we got six practices left, one's a spring game. We're going to be very competitive. Uh, one's a full scrimmage Wednesday, and then we got two half scrimmage days. So you've got four really, really big days to go with that last scrimmage. So a lot of uh, evaluating and information. But uh, I thought they all did well. Do you want to name a starter coming out of spring, or do you just see when it happens? Well, I mean, we got a starter right now. Uh, Kelly's our starter. Uh, you know, so I mean, there's really no announcement unless unless that changed. Uh, you know got our <clears throat> starters back, but that doesn't mean he gets to, like, as y'all heard me say many times, Mitch Heights our returning starter left tackle, but he's got to earn it every day. You know, he doesn't just get anointed. Uh, nobody's that way. And the quarterback obviously gets the most questions and headlines, but Cleveland has to earn it every day. Christian has to earn it every day. If you're the best guy, you're the best guy, and you got to prove it every single day. So, uh, you know, Kelly's the starter. He's a returning starter for us. Started, how I many games we play? 14, 14 games. So, I mean, he's, he's uh, uh, that's where we are. So if something changes, then there's an announcement. But other than that, there's no announcement to make. With Isaiah, what have you seen from him so far this spring? Isaiah Simmons? Uh, what I hoped I would see at range, uh, you know, we're, some diversification from him. We're, we're Working him a lot at the nickel position, the nickel Sam spot where Dorian was. Mm -hmm. uh, love what I'm seeing out of him there. And then Nolan Turner got hurt in the scrimmage, so that, that's that that puts us down. He was really having a good spring, and um, so he's gonna have to have a little shoulder surgery. Uh, so he'll be out the rest of the spring. Uh, be back sometime this summer. So so now we're we're, we're cross and we were doing it anyway, but now a little bit more so. We're kind of cross training training him at both spots. So I think I think. Long term, that that bodes well for us. Uh, just the diversity that he provides us, uh, uh, you know, just being able to play him at safety. But we love him up there in that nickel Sam position. I mean, he's a he's a he's and we love him on the back end. He's got length and range and, and ball skills, and uh, and he's really starting to, to figure things out. Uh, so you got to remember, he hadn't played a ton of snaps, but he did get some good experience last year. But he's uh, he's got a bright future and. He'll be a guy that'll be a factor for us. He'll make, he'll make quarterbacks live some of last spring. Is it just a totally different set of circumstances now? Last spring? Yeah. Uh, I think we went maybe one day live. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, one yeah. One. yeah. We, the, now the, a couple years before that, but I think we only went, uh, well, I'll take that back. We might have gone two days. I think we did two days live last spring. Uh, but just different because, you know, we were going in a situation last year where uh, we didn't have anybody proven. Uh, we had. Uh, Hunter had just gotten here, you know, and Kelly uh, was really had a little bit of experience, but first time for him. And, and uh, you know, I needed to be able to get a feel for who they were when things broke down a little bit too. And uh, uh, so that was a part of our evaluation last, last spring. And it has been this spring, but we, we've just got a lot more working knowledge uh, than we had going into last year. I mean, we, we've all, I don't need to put, make Kelly live to, to see what he can do. Same thing with Hunter, same thing with Chase. I've seen enough. I know what they can do with their legs. And, and uh, to be honest with you, I've, I've, that's probably been the biggest, not surprise, but, but uh, uh, 
most pleasing thing probably about Trevor uh, is just his natural instincts to be able to extend plays and his, I mean, he can move. That guy can run. Uh, so you, you see that on tape, but he's such a big guy. I don't think he gets the credit for his ability to, to, to run and, uh, and escape and create. So uh, I think he was the one guy that I, I'm like, well, let's see. But the other guys, I've got a good, really good feel for what they can do with their legs. And, uh, and then we've, we've created a really good system as far as how we practice and how we've coached the defense as far as our quarterback rules. Uh, if he's a passer in the pocket, if he's a runner on the edge, or if he's a runner in the box on how we coach that. And so I think that's, uh, uh, you know, helping both sides get better. Which was Braden full contact today? No, no. Okay. But he, but he, was, he was, yeah, he was dressed out. And, and uh, so I think they're going to plan with him is to, is to kind of cut him loose a little bit each day. And obviously, this is his first time out there to, to get going. So, uh, Hopefully he'll be able to do a little bit more over these next these next six practices. Although we are, you know, we got two of them. One's a scrimmage on Wednesday, but hopefully he can get a few things done. We touched on it briefly before spring break, but Shaq Smith said he feels like he's ready to take that, that next step. When does he take I think he is. I think he is. Uh, I think just just a, a guy that I think is uh, developed immensely since he got here. Uh, and now he's in a position and he has a good enough foundation and understanding where he can, he can have confidence and he can play, um, you know, within his skill set. And you see that speed, you see his burst uh, because he's got confidence, he's got more knowledge. And uh, so I think he's in a good spot. And, uh, you know, I think this is a year where hopefully he'll take a really good step forward for us. Uh, but I think I still think the best is out there for him. I think he's going to be one of those guys that's come through this program, a Vic Beasley. Uh, you know, not that he's going to be the eighth pick in the draft, but but you know a Dorian, a, you know those type of guys that if they hang in there, man, they become great veteran players for you. Um, and that's, he's kind of in that stage as he transitions to being that sophomore, because he's you know we're a deep group at linebacker right now. And that's the biggest thing. I mean, it's a very deep group and guys that aren't going away. And so they're all very unselfish. They're all splitting time and taking pride in, in their reps that they get. Uh, but he's a guy that uh, I'm excited about. On a lighter note, it's the first time we've talked to you in a while. Brad Brunell called you a chucker. Do you well, have a comment on that? Well, if, if being a scorer means chucker, <laughs> then guilty as charged, uh, you know. But, you know, I want my team to win, and usually that requires me to score. So I'm just saying, uh, you know, I guess I'm guilty as charged. I mean, I, I did lead my county in shots attempted, I think, a couple years in a row there. But, uh, but, I, but I prefer to, to see myself as a scorer. Uh, I don't know where this chucker stuff came from. But. Anyway, so you, uh, he needs to get his butt out there on the court a little bit more <laughs> before he starts evaluating my game. Uh, but so you agree with what he said about defense and rebounding? Absolutely not. That's the other thing too. Uh, I play defense. I pride myself. Now rebounding, you know, I mean, I get a few here and there, but yeah, you know, I pride myself on defense. So, yeah, that's uh, that's the, the, you know, there's don't believe half of what you hear, right? Uh, or none of what you hear and half of what you see. That's what my coach used to tell me. Uh, so, anyway. He says he's the only one to keep you in line. Really. Well, that might be true. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have a good time. We have a good group. Uh, in fact, I was playing in a – I ripped my hand uh, right there. Uh, we, were, we were on a trip down at uh, Turks and Caicos with two other couples Wednesday to Sunday. And uh, <coughs> me and my buddy were jogging. Kind of went outside the room, was really jogging, and then we'd come up on a basketball game. And it's a bunch of just locals out there playing basketball, and we busted right up in there. And uh, <laughs> you know, two hours later, you know, Kath and them thought we'd gotten kidnapped or something. Two hours later, and uh, so it was a blast. We had a great time, but there was a sport court, and anyway, I got knocked down because I was playing defense, and uh, somehow I got knocked down. But I go sliding across and just rip my skin out, of my hand there. Uh, so I've had a little. A little pain with it, but I kept playing, finished, had a, had a heck of a time. They had no clue who we were. We were just, <laughs> we were just the tourists showing up, and uh, so it was a lot of fun. We had a good little little few days there, but but was glad to get back and get started. We had meetings last night, actually. We had uh, dinner and meetings, finished up the scrimmage, uh, what we didn't get to. But we had a big viewing party down there Friday night, watching the game. Oh, my gosh. That was a, that was a, a, a tough one, but 
really proud of our team. I mean, it was just awesome to see us compete the way we did. We obviously didn't play well in the first half, and I thought Brad's comments were right on line. I mean, it was, that was the first time that I kind of saw him like, okay, whoa, we're, this is, you know, we're playing Kansas, and you know, and the whole place was blue, by the way, unbelievable. Uh, but you know, I, but I so I thought it was interesting. Okay, I mean, obviously this is we're in a bad spot right here. But how are you going to respond? You know, you really got two ways to go here, and I think that's a credit to the culture they built, to uh, those guys obviously care about each other, and uh, for them to come back and it be a four-point game. I don't know, they're down 20 or 22 points against a, a great team, obviously. I just think that says a lot about where they are and, and uh, you know, got great days ahead. So they'll get better. That'll be a great experience for them, a great learning experience. Hopefully all those guys will come back and, and uh, it'll be a launching pad for them for many years of consistency, you know? Uh, I think that's, that's what every program wants to have. And I know that's what Brad uh, is shooting for. How much do you think success across sports feed, feed into each other? I, I know, uh, you know, especially when you're recruiting, I know you, you take a lot of football recruits to basketball games and sure. vice versa. Yeah, I, th I, think, I think it makes it matters a lot. I, I think anytime you have um, a lot of pride uh, in, 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 you know, success maybe in one area, it's contagious to another area. I don't think there's any question about that um, because young people are competitive. And coaches are competitive. And, you know, I mean, that's just the nature of it. And, you know, if I'm a basketball player and I see, man, the baseball team is playing unbelievably great, that well, kind of makes you want to step your game up. And the same thing, you know, if you're a football player and your basketball team is, is playing at a high level, you know, I want you to just be, you, you want to be the best that you can be. And I think at the end of the day, that's one of the great things about Clemson is it's very connected here. It's a very connected place. Uh, people talk about Clemson family all the time and stuff like that. But, they, you know, it's a place where, I mean, it's a small town, you know, and everybody keeps up with what's going on. And it's, you know, I, I met with a volleyball recruit today. Uh, she was a giant. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure she could play wide out. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, I just think that's, again, I, I, want, I want all the sports to do well and, and vice versa. So uh, it's really neat to see you know, where we are right now, to see our basketball program, to see, you know, uh, I know they had a money and them got it done this weekend, uh, but, you know, had a bad weekend last weekend. Baseball is like a, you know, it's like 12 seasons within one, so there's always ebbs and flows, but what a start we've had at baseball. Uh, so it's, it's great, man. This, this, is a, this is a great time to be a Clemson Tiger. Let me go ahead and get Coach, Coach Scott has been patiently waiting. 